Hello friends. In the previous session, we have introduced ourselves to the transient analysis concept and I have introduced you to the circuit timeline. So just doing a brief summarization, I have already told you that in the circuit timeline, you are having a concept of 0 minus and 0 plus where 0 minus is the time before switching and the circuit is sitting in its steady state and 0 plus is just after switching and the circuit has not reached its steady state and there will be transients. Alright. So in this case, inductor will be a short circuit to DC and capacitor will be an open circuit to DC and in 0 plus IL 0 minus will be equal to IL 0 plus because the inductor cannot allow the current to change instantaneously and the capacitor voltage VC 0 minus will be equal to VC 0 which means that the voltage across the capacitor before switching is equal to the voltage of the capacitor after switching all right. Now let us take a simple problem to illustrate all these facts. This is a simple problem which I have taken and we, we are asked to find the value of IL0. Okay. What is IL0? It is the instant after switching. Okay. And we are asked to find the value of ILT. Okay. So to find IL of T, IL of T is clearly equal to IL of 0 e power minus R by L into T. This we have already derived. This equation we have already derived and we already know that IL0 minus will be equal to IL0 plus. This is also known to us and that is equal to IL0 which is what is asked from this question. Now in order to find IL0 we should find what is IL0 minus. Okay. So let us just redraw the circuit once again. Alright friends this is the circuit which I have taken once again. Now let us draw this circuit at 0 minus. Okay. What will be this circuit at 0 minus? Now clearly based on this arrow of the switch it is clearly known that before t equal to 0 the circuit is under a closed condition. The switch is actually closing it is under a closed position. Therefore I can just replace this switch here okay, and I can replace it by the closed. So this is 24 volt. Okay. Another thing that you have to note here is that because the circuit is under a steady state condition the circuit is under steady state condition, the inductor will be a short circuit to DC because it is a DC circuit, it will be a short circuit to DC. Therefore, I can replace this inductor also by a short circuit and therefore, what will be the current through this? I will replace this current as IL0 minus. So, IL0 minus will be clearly equal to the current through the 10 ohm and that is nothing but equal to 24 divided by 10 which is equal to 2.4 amperes. Right? This is the current at IL0 minus and clearly we know that IL0 minus equal to IL0 plus and that is equal to 2.4 amperes. Okay? So we have got here it will be equal to 2.4 e power minus R by L into T. So what is the value of R? R is the equivalent resistance as seen by the inductor after the switching has taken place. All right? So let us take the circuit once again. Okay. So, I have taken the circuit once again here okay. and in this case now I will be putting the circuit for T greater than 0 okay. T greater than 0 and the equivalent inductance seen by the inductor okay. So, this will be the R equivalent as seen by the inductor at T greater than 0. At T greater than 0 what would have happened? T greater than 0 this switch would be an open condition. The switch will be in an open condition, right? So, this is an open condition. This is 24 volt. Okay. What will be the R equivalent here? The R equivalent is clearly equal to 10 plus 40 because 10 and 40 is in series. So, this is an open circuit. 10 and 40 are in series. So, the R equivalent is 10 plus 40 which is equal to 50 ohms. Okay. Therefore, the final equation of IL of T equal to IL 0 e power minus R by L into T will be equal to 2.4 e power minus 50 divided by 5. What is the inductor value? Okay, the inductor value is actually 5 Henry. The inductor value is 5 Henry and T. Okay, so this is equal to 2.4 e power minus 10 into T amperes. And uh, clearly IL0 is equal to 2.4 amperes. Alright. I hope you have understood this problem. In the next lecture, we will be starting with the properties of the exponential response which we have found here. We will see some properties of that, we will define what is time constant etc and we will do 
more problems on transient analysis. I hope you have enjoyed this lecture. Please like, share and subscribe this video for more such lectures. I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.